Welcome back to another video. I'm Adam at WPCrafter.com where I make videos for non-techies like me and maybe like you. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how to add a SSL certificate to your WordPress website. And what an SSL certificate is, that stands for Secure Socket Layer, and it's basically encrypts whatever communication happens between your website visitor and your website. And it's commonly required if you're going to receive any, or take any kind of payments for anything you sell directly on your website, you're going to need one of these SSL certificates and you're going to need to be running your website in a secure fashion as well as there's a SEO benefit, a search engine optimization benefit that Google has said if you are running your site on an SSL secure connection. So now I can't really show you everything because there's a good part of this that your web host has to do. So you can contact your web host and basically say, I need to add a security certificate to my website. Most of them it's gonna be free based on this thing called Let's Encrypt. Um, so you can make that request. Now some of the other hosts that like to extort money out of their customers like HostGator and stuff like that, they are most likely gonna want 60 or $70. However, it should be free if your host has something called Let's Encrypt. Now that's one side of it. So you just contact your host and ask them to add these, this thing called an SSL certificate. Now the other side of it is you have to do something to WordPress so that it will run on this secure certificate. And I'm trying to make this as non-techy as possible and I'm doing my very best. Now the way you do this on the WordPress side is actually really simple and it's via a plugin. And what that's going to do is it's going to force it so whenever someone visits your website it shows them the secure version of it. Now a problem that a lot of people run into is they get this security certificate but WordPress isn't showing the visitor everything over the secure connection so they get this kind of uh, security warning about it in the web browser and that's what you don't want and it's a real simple fix. You just install a particular plugin, enable it, and you're pretty much good to go. So let's do that in this video. You go to plugins, add new. Now the name of this plugin is really simple SSL. Okay, go ahead and search for that. It's commonly used. I've used it on many websites and I have it running on websites currently. And you can see there's already over 40,000 active installations of this all five star reviews and it doesn't cost a penny. So let's go ahead and click on install now and then click on activate. Now all you really have to do is click this button here that says go ahead activate SSL and any well coded theme or plugin is going to have no problem at all. So just go ahead in that, click on that and then if you have this security certificate properly installed it will start serving up the website on HTTPS this secure connection. Now, I don't have a security certificate installed on this example site that's running on my local machine, so that's why I'm getting this error. So if you don't have a security certificate or your host hasn't installed it properly, you're gonna get this message right here. Although I can just click on continue and it will take me back to my site. Now it will log you out because you are logged in over on the non-secure version of your site and now you have to re-log in on the secure version of your website. That's all there is to this plugin. So let me log back in and this is gonna log me back in and you have this new option under settings that says SSL and we can click into it and this is where you can see if the plugin is doing its job. So you can see right here that it's enabled and this is really the main reason that we need the plugin is this mixed content fixer. And that's what causes the browser notification to say that it's not a fully secure site is because by default WordPress is gonna serve your images and things like that under the non-secure connection. But what this plugin does is it forces WordPress to show everything on the secure connection and that's what makes it work. So that's pretty much all there is to getting SSL working properly in WordPress. 
Hey, really quick, can you do something for me? If you're watching this on YouTube, can you give me a thumbs up? And I wanna invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's a button right beneath me, and I'd really appreciate it if you did that. And I've got something for you. I don't want you to leave empty-handed. If you just click off here to the side, it's a free video course that I put together just for you called the Three Steps to WordPress Success. You will love this course. Registration is free right now. All you have to do is click on the link right next to me. Hey, thanks for spending this time with me, and I can't wait to make another video for you.